Hi and hello dear friends. Welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics and this session we have an interesting question from geometry and mensuration. Let's see what question is with us. If a rhombus has an area of 12 cm square and side length of 5 cm. So we have a rhombus and we have its area and side is given there in the question itself. Hope you all know the basic properties of a rhombus. So I have drawn here a rhombus and uh, we all know about a rhombus, right? So all the four sides are equal and also the opposite angles are going to be equal. And what is so special about the diagonals of a rhombus? It's going to be like they will be meeting at right angles. Okay, fine. Yes. So that means like I just named the vertices as A, B, C and D and I've taken the two diagonals as A, C and B, D and let's take O is the intersecting point and uh, these two diagonals they will be meeting at right angles they will be perpendicular okay this angle will be of course a right angle 90 degree fine yes let's continue the question then what is the length of the longer diagonal this is going to be the question so let's do some data here okay fine yes let's do just sort out some data from what is given there in the question so it is better to start from the diagonals itself okay fine yes so anyways we got to see that AC and BD are going to be the two diagonals. So let me do something here. By just viewing it itself, it's very clear that this AC is going to be the longer diagonal, right? Okay. So longer diagonal is going to be, let me take it here. Okay. Longer diagonal, longer diagonal is going to be that AC. Now let's do some, introduce some notations here. Okay, fine. Yes. Now let me take this measure AO to be X, AO as X and OD to be y okay fine yes and again we know the property of the rhombus so when you have this o to be the center point where the two diagonals meet it will be exactly bisecting is it or not the two diagonals they will be always bisecting each other so in that sense if oa is going to be x the other part oc will also be x and again if od is y this ob should also be y okay now this is clear now it is very very clear that you have got two diagonals and what about the longer diagonal? Longer diagonal is AC, which is going to be now X plus X, which is going to be 2X. Is it or not? And of course, the shorter diagonal is going to be, shorter diagonal is going to be BD, BD. And that's going to be Y plus Y, which is going to be 2Y. Yes, that's it. We have recorded all the things. Now, again, coming back to this question, rhombus has an area of 12 centimeters square. So we have the area of the rhombus is given to be 12 centimeters square. And we know about the area of a rhombus is it or not what about the area of a rhombus it's going to be half into the product of the two diagonals now what about the diagonals the diagonals are now given in terms of x and y is it or not so that means half into we have the diagonals to be 2x into 2y so this should be equal to 12 okay fine yes now let's derive some other thing from here so what now we can do here is just listen very carefully now i'm going to just cancel out this two with one of these two so that I will be ending up with 2xy is equal to 12. Let's have this as one equation. Let us fix this as it is. Now continue. And side length is given to be 5. Side length is fine. This is each side is going to be 5. This is 5, 5, 5 and then 5. Is it or not? Yes, fine. Now what I can do now is I can just get a relation between x, y and 5 because this one here what you see this AOD will now form a right angle triangle I can use Pythagoras theorem here so that it will help us to get a relation between these three sides of this right angle triangle is it or not so that I'll be getting x square plus this y square will be equal to this one now the side of this rhombus will now act as the hypotenuse of that triangle which means like 5 square which will be 25 now we have got two equations right we have got x square plus y square is equal to 25 and 2xy this is equal to 12. Now let me take this as equation 1 and this is equation 2. Please be clear with this. Fine. Okay. Now finally what is the question? Find the length of the longer diagonal. That means we need to find the length of the longer diagonal. That means we need to find the value of 2x. This is what we need to find. Now we have got two equations using them. We are going to find the value of 2x. How it is going to work? Very simple. Let us carefully see this. Okay. Now first thing what I am going to do now is, now is I am going to take these two equations I'm just going to add the two equations now what do you think if you add the two equations you will be having equation 1 plus equation 2 this will give you what this will do it directly we'll have our left hand side to be x square plus y square plus 2xy which is nothing but x plus y the whole square is it or not this will be equal to just add the right hand side numbers 
25 plus 12 which will give you 37 so that means we will have x plus y is equal to square root of 37 is it or not since sides being positive values i cannot have a negative value as the sum so positive value root 37 fine yes now listen what i'm going to do next i'm going to take the same two equations one and two this time i'm going to subtract them equation one minus equation two this will give you what x square plus y square minus 2xy which will be technically x minus y the whole square this will be equal to 25 minus 12 that will give you 13 okay finish remember that this gives you x minus y the whole square why because x will be more in quantity right i mean the value of x will be more than y so x minus y the whole square is equal to 13 that gives you x minus y is equal to root of 13 square root of 13 that's it very simple now let me take these two as equations 3 and equation 4 i hope you understand this so from equations 1 and 2 we got to get equations 3 and 4 yes is it clear now make a one last step very simple thing to find the value of 2x just simply add equation 3 and 4 equation 3 and 4 will give you what x plus y plus x minus y this will directly give you 2x is equal to now add the right hand side you will have square root of 37 plus square root of 13 so that gives you the value of 2x and of course that is going to be the length of the longer diagonal okay so root 37 plus root 13 is going to be the answer which is exactly matching with option c so option c square root of 37 plus square root of 13 is going to be the answer for this particular question i hope you are clear with the way we solve the approach everything is clear to you if any doubts as usual please come it in the comment box when i see it i'll see you rectify again let's catch up in the next session with some other interesting question see you soon there thank you so much